So this is one of the most frequently asked questions I get about the Merchant Center misrepresentation error all the time. Robin, I've just created my Merchant Center account, connected to Shopify and waited before my products were green. Now I'm going to connect my Merchant Center account to my Google Ads account and want to run my ads. Not even after a few euros spent or a few days, my Merchant Center displays the misrepresentation error again. How is this even possible? And to be honest, that is a very good question and you will know the answer by watching until the end of this video. To understand why this is happening, we need to go back to the foundation of the Google Merchant Center itself. After connecting your Merchant Center account to Shopify, all product data will be synchronized in the Merchant Center platform. And once the uh, product information turns on green, it simply means that the information from the Shopify products are implemented in the Merchant Center, but it doesn't specifically mean that you're verified whatsoever for the Google Shopping campaigns. In order to get your products approved by the Google Ads platform, you need to undergo a few more checks from the Merchant Center itself. Initially, the free listing check will be done when you created your Merchant Center account and added your Shopify products. Second of all, the shopping listing is going into a recheck after connecting your Google Ads account to it and your remarketing listing will go over as the third step. So we have the free listing, the shopping listing and the remarket listing, which will be the total of how your shopping ads are actually built up and which options you have initially in your Merchant Center account with the products you have there. So after connecting your Shopify to your Google Merchant Center account, you initially applied for the free listing as we call it. But to be honest, in this year around, Google likes to make money. So the chance that you're going to make sales from a free listing nowadays is very low. So that's why we initially wanted to start with Google Ads, right? Connecting it to the Merchant Center platform to reuse the product data in your Google Ads campaigns. So when you connect your Google Ads account to your Merchant Center account, all products will be synchronized nice in between these two platforms but initially you're going under also two more checks regarding the shopping listing and the remarketing listing as i just explained therefore google wants to see your website and check if your website is safe for the potential visitors they are going to drive from google to your website because we need to keep in mind that google only wants one thing and that is a good visit from a potential client for your website and in order for google to let the people come back in the platform they will do rechecks on your website to see if everything is safe and according to their latest policies on your website this is how google actually makes money on the short and long term because if people trust the platform they will come back over and over again click on the ads what we are going to pay for later down the line as well so initially when you connected both accounts the rechecks will be done and that's initially where most of you will get into trouble with the misrepresentation error in your google merchant center account and most likely your google ads account will be suspended with this same reason as well this happens most of the time when you just spend a few euros or dollars in your ads account or not even and after like two or three days your account will be hit with a misrepresentation error again so now you know exactly why this error is happening in your merchant center account there's a high potential that is also displaying in your google ads account so the most logical next step is to solve the suspension in both accounts check the link in the description and download my free step-by-step -step guide how to fix your website from this suspension when it comes down to the merchant center misrepresentation error after downloading my check list watch the recommendation video after this where i show you software that can even help identify the problems that you have on your website as well and fix the potential issues much faster i see you there